Morning folks, quarter to six in the morning. I'm off to Highbridge now. Brake test on this and headlight check ready for MOT next week. Last minute job. So uh, let's go and grab me bits, chuck them in and bugger off. There we go, we got here. Half past six in the morning. Get the numbers, put it in that, and then do the brake test. That's what we like to see, past. But there's parking brake, 16%. We got 41. We had locks on most of it. So yeah, happy days, that's all good for next week. We've done the headlights as well. Right, let's get on back and have a uh, Customer wants to have a moan to me now. What's the matter, Jake? It's time to call this, Dave. Get up and get on with it. Not a morning person, me. Well, I know that. <laughs> you wanted the truck on the road today, so you've got it on the road. Yeah, that's yeah? a good point. All right, brake test all done. All good. Oh, lovely job. Dip beam head. Uh, Headlights all lined up okay, so yeah, good wash off. You can put the dashboard back together now and get ready for MOT. Yeah, happy days. Right, let's get back and do some proper work now. Eh? All this messing around this morning, trying to keep customers happy. <laughs> all going on next door. Neighbours having a load of work done. Got a concrete pump up there. <laughs> Very great load of concrete as well. Apparently, there was chaos here this morning. Glad I wasn't here. Oh, well, let's go and do some more. And the boys and wells, another ram, got the seals for it. Gonna do that, a new rod, because the chrome had had it on this one. And we've got some profile bits they've had done over there for extensions. Oh, I've got my bearings. Oh no, here he is. They're made. They're made. More stuff. More stuff. That was worth coming in this morning. Look at that. More PTO extensions. One of those went to Ireland yesterday. <laughs> <laughs> You're on YouTube, or you will be tomorrow. <laughs> oh, it's him again. <laughs> He's playing with his nuts, sticking labels on. <laughs> I've only come over to pick some pallets up, but I don't want to... Do you smell or is it the nuts that smell? <laughs> <laughs> Staff busy packing nuts over there as well. Right, let's get out of here. Pallets loaded up. Not bad going for this morning. It's now nine o'clock. I feel like I've done a day's work, so we'll get these dropped off later to my friend. So she's got some firewood for the winter. We'll keep her warm. Right, let's get on yeah, back. Back in the land of the every now. There's those bits we've had made up for the P2 extensions, as you can see properly. And we've had some thrust washers made up, which I've got to send one of these to Denmark, I think, and another one to go to Scotland. So we can get those away. Obviously the original style brass ones, phosphorus bronze, far too expensive to make. So this is the option we've done, which I have fitted numerous ones before. Uh, so yeah, marvellous job bearings for Dropbox. Uh, he's got most, all of them, got the little one for in that shaft, but the uh, main needle roller ones in the bottom of the box, these, I think they're gonna be dealer only, so I'm gonna have to make a call and see if they are still available. Hopefully, they are. There's, there's the one there that goes in the end of that, that shaft, which is in the top of the Dropbox, so we can get that one changed at some point when we start back on that job. Anyway, Apprentices is busy checking again under here for more oil leaks, which after all the bolts were tightened up yesterday, it has slowed it up. Uh, but there was a little bit of oil on the floor there from last night. So another check, we'll do what we can. Right, the moment of anticipation. Let's see if it starts and see if the clutch operates. Go on, go for it. Ooh. Oh. Hey! Result! Oh. Bloody marvellous! It works. I think we can get it out now and uh, give it a wash off underneath there and just see if the oil leaks have slowed up from what they were. But yeah, good job done that. Well done, apprentice. Ah, we have an empty workshop. Well, 
apart from all that stuff up there, but nice to have something not blue here. And we'll clean the floor up and we'll find something else to fill the space. Come on, keep brushing. It's nothing wrong with blue. I say it's something not blue not here now, but it's cleaner's job. There you go. Good deed done for the day. <laughs> Delivered. That'll keep her happy. You'll stop her moaning anyway. Where is she? <laughs> well, it didn't take long to fill the space up. That's the front chassis for the next 1200 in here. I've got some steel coming Monday. I'll make some proper stands to mount that on. Meanwhile, in the land of Apprentice, we've got the Ford out. It's just giving it a bit of a wash off. Get rid of dirty oil prints. But yeah. We'll have to get that one out. Take the way. Ready to, uh, take on. Well, it's been a successful week. We got this back together, running, washed, and we got that cleared up. That end's had a wipe over, cleaned up because it's been sat outside. So we've got uh, blue here and red where blue was, and it'll be there for a bit longer until we finished it, hopefully. But yeah, well done this week. That's a wrap. In here again, they've done it. New chrome rod because it's knackered. Seal's done. Bloody marvellous. Hello, Dave. Right? Hello. Everybody wants a Dave. Morning, folks. Saturday morning. Yeah, we've got the uh, one that I took for brake test dropped back off. So we'll give that a wash off. Ready for tomorrow. And hopefully, customers come and pick the Ford up shortly. So that'll be uh, well, 6610. That'll be gone out of the way. And then might have a little road trip. Go and see a friend with his new old combine. And then I'll be heading back home and get my chainsaw out and chop some firewood up for the winter. So. Let's get busy cleaning that. Well, it's going. Job done. Customer happy. And she's gone. Right, so we've got the uh, truck washed off, tractor's gone, a bit of paperwork sorted. We've got a little road trip now to go and see a friend of mine, Colin Cloud. Uh, he's also got a 1200 and he's into his Massey Combines. Uh, little story, he bought a 36 Massey Combine last year, which was, uh, yeah, he restored a bit of uh, TLC repairs using it. And unfortunately, it, uh, it caught fire, had a um, hydraulic hose blow in the engine bay and it went up in smoke so uh, very much a shame and feel sorry for him on that front. Uh, he put a lot of uh, hard work into it to restore it back to its working glory uh, but he's just bought himself another one, something a bit different. It's still red, it's still massy so uh, we're going to have a quick trip up there and have a, have a look at it because he's going to uh, try and get it all working to start using it for this harvest so uh, time's a bit short for him to get it uh, sorted but hopefully he will so let's go and have a look right well we're nearly there I'll set the scene I don't know if you recall back in the 80s there was a program in America called Dallas South Fork Ranch big long driveway big mansion multi-millionaire scene this is a Somerset equivalent let's go there's the long driveway. Look at that for a mansion. <laughs> Here it is. Well, I've I've set the scene about your 36 that you had, which was a bit of a a sad case for all the work you put in, but yeah. Now the journey starts again. It and certainly it does. Is, at the moment, this journey, we're struggling for a simple thing like a water pump. Really? Yes. Is it a Perkins engine in it? It's a Perkins engine. Perkins part number for the water pump was obsolete 22 years ago. Really? But there's aftermarket ones. Yeah. Biggest problem is we need a six stud fitted water pump yeah. And a majority out there are seven or eight stud. Ah. I've had one cent. Yeah, wrong. Wrong. Wrong shape. 
the one we want, which is listed on a website, yeah, <laughs> it's the one they can't get. Ah. Um, basically, what happened? I weren't looking for another one of these. I, I've done a, quite a few combines now. Yeah. I weren't looking for another one. But this flagged up to me. This six two five. It auctioned. It, it tickled your fancy, did it? Well. If it was a 525, I would have looked the other way because I've had a 525. They're good combines. I've a lot of good years with them, Dave. But yeah. What, what took me fancy with this one? It's an early 625. Okay. Now, they are rare now, the early models. There's yeah. some Super 2s still out there working. But the early model, this one, there's very, very few. This one come up for auction up in Suffolk. Um, I rang the auctioneers got some details on it oh it's from a deceased yeah. estate one owner machine have you got any photos so i had one photo which didn't really help a lot but <laughs> but eventually they sent 60 photos detailed okay, photos. photos that's good and i looked around it and i thought christ that that really is a tidy combine mm. you know and I, I i'm worried now because i know what happens to tidy combines I've spent a lifetime watching them get cut up. Yeah. Because there ain't a lot of daft people like me <laughs> well, going around doing this sort of nonsense. I'm daft doing what I do, do as well. Do you know what I mean? They're, honestly, I can understand the reason people don't want to do it. Yeah. It's a lot of work. And if you haven't got anything to cut with it, it's a waste of time, Sorry. isn't it? Yeah. So anyway, um, I looked at the photos and I thought, well, I'm a long way from Suffolk. The low loader trip is going to be an expensive one. He's wide, I'll register he? for the auction because I know it won't make big money, <coughs> excuse me, but I'm sure someone up around there will snap it up. Hopefully not the gas axe man. Yeah. Because if there's one, if there's, if there's a man up the road, Yeah. if he gets it the right money, it's a payday. Yeah. Because there's seven or eight hundred quid for the engine. Yeah. Plus a six, six, six and a half ton of scrap. Yeah. Which scrap's good at the moment. Yeah. So I'm at a disadvantage straight away. Because mm. what I've got in mind of a price, the scrap man's going to pay probably a little bit more. Oh, yeah, because he'll get his so money back. So I register in. for the auction, not thinking that I'd possibly get her because of all the restrictions I got, like yeah. moving it and everything. I suppose with the weight there is a movement order as and well, was it? I'm told he am cut for probably 12 to 15 years, which I can see that. Yeah. Um, but saying that, the combine was spotless. I mean, I've, I, I'm going about the restoration in the wrong way. I, I get all the mechanicals done first and then I get it all up and running to make sure it works before I even start doing the panels. Yeah. But at the moment I can't run her, so I'm still trying That's to get a water pump. I'm, I'm concentrating on getting the panels back up and yeah. coming up lovely. Well, I say it looks at what you've with, done. With, with a little bit of that, yes. So, anyway, I'm sat down at night on the last day watching the auction and it hasn't moved. It's a week long auction, it hasn't moved all week. The auction it's gone up for 50 60 quid so on the last couple of hours on the wednesday evening um she went up to about seven eight hundred quid and i i knew then i thought that's 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 a gas axe man mm. they're gonna pay that yeah that's that's, yeah. That's, that's a payday for them now don't get me wrong i've got nothing against these people they got no. her in a living same oh family. yeah well, they we, got to feed their family we've all got that's to work away yeah that's what they do i know I, I can't you know i don't i don't knock them for that, that that's their business um, but to me, it's agricultural well, it's, history. It's, it's history, yeah. And, and, and it's a rare one as well. You, you won't find many like this, not no. this age. It's probably 1972, this combine. So it's old. Yeah. Are, um, are the so tires anyway, the same age? Yeah, yeah, they would be, yeah. <laughs> we'll, we'll yeah. Have a, see, if we find, years, yeah. see if we find a date code in a minute. Yeah, yeah, you have a look. I bet they the, the, the original tires date. Yeah. Um, but anyway, so what, I sat down and watched the auction. And the auction <coughs> went up to 950. And it stayed there for about half hour. So I got it in my mind. It's a thousand pound for me, not a penny more. Yeah. Because I got to pay the haulage, and that's going to be enough to pay for this combine. So I watched the auction, and it stayed on nine fifty. So with mm. probably fifteen seconds to go, I banged a thousand pound in. Yeah. And just just to be sure, like I had like, to wait then for twenty minutes. Yeah. I thought somebody probably put a thousand and one. <laughs> That's what you do when you buy on eBay and stuff. Yeah, you yeah. Put a bang, ran, random number on the bang, end. It come back to me. Oh, well done. So, anyway, this is where the story unfolds now. When they went to get the combine out the shed, 
been in there a long time. Yeah. They put a battery on it. This is no surprise to me. I mean, I, I, yeah. I spent my life doing this. Going to see convoys been parked 20 years. Put a battery on it. Bled her up. Turned the key and it started. But there was smoke coming out the engine bay. Water Ooh. pump was sea solid. Ah. So, I think what they had in mind to do, they took the water pump off. I think what they had in mind to do is try and get another water pump. Yeah. And put on there so they could run it on the day of viewing. People yeah, come and start it, it up and let it run. Well, I'm thinking they probably had the same problem as me. Like trying to find a part. They went to deal. Uh, they went to outlets. Yeah. Uh, ooh, uh, yeah, they can't get one. Because all I've had is closed doors all week. Yeah. I got Agco. I got the top men on Agco. Now, Andy Delaney, Adam Oh, Sheriff, good old Andy. Yeah, the, Adam. All yeah. their Agco parts people trying to scour Poland and Lithuania and Christ knows where else. Yeah. Try and get me a water pump. You'd never believe this on a Perkins engine. But this is, yeah. this is the reality. Yeah. Um, so, anyway... I think that's what they've done. So they, they, they started it up and got it on the low loader and hauled it back to the... And I spoke to the low loader driver, he went to pick it up. He said, Colin, it's a tidy convoy, despite not having a water pump on it. Yeah. So I had it delivered last Monday, and I've not... I, I've only unloaded her off the lorry. I hadn't been able to run her for any, any time, obviously, because no water pump on it. So, yeah, I'm feverishly looking for a water pump, and I'm carrying out... I've done a lot of visual checks, a couple of belts... Yeah, I, I'm quite all right for belts apart from the multi flow, but I, I, I sourced one of them. I haven't got a multi flow belt, I got one of them coming. The other belts are all right, um, but I'd like to run her up and get her all. Well, I'll see if there's anything else, see if there's anything else need doing. Yeah. I've slackened off some of the belts, check the shafts, check the bearings, and all this week I've been Polishing. putting my wonder magic <laughs> on the combine to get the panels up she's come up lovely i, I knew she would yeah they do i mean the red's a terrible color oh it'll, it'll, yeah it'll, it'll terrible fade, 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 fade yeah um, kilmarnock paper weren't the best in its day but uh, as you can see she's she's coming she's gradually coming back yeah um i'm hoping to get a v5 for her um but uh, yeah the 625 so, that, that, that was the original um, that's the original dealer yeah know. oliver ricks I've got to be honest, that's a new name on me. I have not I, heard of that. No, before. I haven't. Um, but the, the 625, it's basically a 525 on steroids. <laughs> uh, when I look around this, yeah, it, it, everything's bigger on it. I mean, yeah. it's a wider drum, wider walkers, bigger separation area. Yeah. Um, just about everything on it. Still a bit of red fuel in there. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Uh, just about everything on it was beefed up yeah um for more capacity he's got a 14 foot table which is quite big for for this combine of this era yeah um so depending on who you speak to there's good and bad about these um it reminds me really of the the 500s when they brought when they brought the four and 500s out from kilmarnock the 400s which i've got several um they they are a very well balanced combine you mm. don't get many issues with the 400 i haven't had any serious issues i've had a uh main counter shaft bearing on one end go on mine that was probably it that's a fair old job but they're well balanced um the 525s yeah an equally good combine but the 500 when they bought the 500s out the early 500s were they had a lot of trouble with them they done exactly the same they yeah. just put a six cylinder engine in, not a four yeah they made everything wider and bigger and they had a lot of problems and weren't until the 510 came out that they got it right. Yeah. I'd say the 510, probably their finest hour with combines of that era. Because mm. um, after that, they seemed to, seemed to uh, readdress everything. The 625 was the same. Um, they had a few issues. You could see, you could see the, um, <laughs> you can see the fanning mill in there. You'll see a, um, a metal strap have been put in there. Oh yeah. To strengthen that. Yeah, stop it vibrating. And if you look on the rear of this combine, another problem they did suffer from was um, the sins getting Obviously, it did have a registration plate because there's uh, yeah. evidence of it there. Yeah, so this has all been welded up and beefed up here. Yeah. I mean, they were known they were known for issues like that. Um, so Some people say, well, you know, they, 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 they beefed Ooh. everything up on so, these combines. But the serial number good, there? You know? Serial plate for yeah, it? that's the serial number yeah. there, Dave. Yeah, well, that's a start. At least you got that information yeah. for getting the well, V5 for it. quite odd. I've seen plenty of 525s and that, I've never seen a stock sticker on it. 
Never. That's that's a new one on me. So wherever it were just on these early ones, I yeah. don't know. But um, I mean, I spoke to people who cut a thousand acres of one of these the other day. Yeah. And they swore by them. They said they're bloody good, good output combine. And I've spoken to people who cut two hundred. It's a big slow of us ever drill. But. You've got to look into the history of combine harvesters. Yeah. Well, combine harvesters. You're, you're the man for the old school well, stuff. <laughs> well, I'm afraid. Uh, in my lifetime, <coughs> I've spoken to so many people. These machines really were unlike any other machine on the farm. Yeah. Some users, they finished the harvest, sling the thing out the back. sticker there. Yeah, to the they side. sling it out the back of the farm. And then later on in the, in the winter, they put it away when... Uh, when the sheds become available, uh, yeah. you know, when the when the fodder's gone out of the farm, uh, the, the, the cattle farmers who had a combine, they were probably the worst abusers, I would think. Arable farmers fared better. They normally had a proper shed to put them in. Yeah. Um, some people's idea of a service, pre CC service of a combine, was kicking the tires and rubbing all <laughs> your rag over it, going out and then breaking it down. down. Yeah. But I can tell you now, in my experience with combines, wherever you're cutting three acres, 30 acres or 330 acres or a 3,000 acres yeah. you need to go through exactly, exactly. the same process yes. yeah. of checking I mean, everything before you start if you don't you'll be checking it out in the yeah, field and I can tell you what out in the field it's fun no. especially when the weather patterns we get you're sat there you've got a breakdown something you didn't spot a belt's gone you think well oh, Christ you it's know, it's easy. I should have spotted I, that. I know we're looking over trucks for inspections. That you can look and look, and sometimes you you look you so hard you, you miss it. You can't miss it. Yeah. I run the combine but, up a few times because the bad belt can so get hit in the sheaves of the pulleys. Yeah. you know, and it catch you out. And a lot of people's idea of maintenance is zero, literally zero. And then they call people out. And Cost a fortune on call they, outs. Well, and this well, and then, for, then, for a simple. Two, yeah, here's two. the engine. That's where he's. Um, Water pump problem, yeah. but basically looks like a six three five four. But it's a was it a three seven two three seven two bored out three seven two. two. Uh, the CC is different on it. So what horsepower? You, what horsepower you would he you, be? You tell he's older. Look, yeah, he's got the old old he's got style a paper filter. Yeah, the AC some Delco. The, some of the um, these are the same uh, on the four hundreds. Uh, same on some of the early twelve hundreds yeah, as well. Yeah, yeah, yeah. So the, the next thing I got, I got a, a source. Um, coolant hoses as well so there's two of them on here so that i'll, have to, I'll probably be going to a motor factor with a bit of paper and a drawing if you've got any hoses like that yeah well, off off mate best don't, not don't tell, tell you, you. <laughs> been there done that best <laughs> not tell you well, let's climb up and sit in the uh, prominent position oh I say it's good air conditioning on this one, isn't yeah, it? Yeah, is, yeah, yeah. You're gonna get it, get it regassed. Yeah, yeah. <laughs> yeah. You've got your um, auto table height. Got all these gauges. They they all look the same as what you get in yeah. you know, 1200. Yeah. 1250. Yeah. No, they're not the same knobs. <laughs> yeah, yeah, yeah. That's your travel speed there. The real up and down. Your four and a half. Let's, let's try the seat. Oh dear. Yeah. I mean, just imagine is, going and seeing all the even, grain coming into that. This is even different. Look. The 525, the later ones, had a, a box with yeah. the gates on for the gears. You've got your gears up here, yeah. but this is, this is different. Cool. For first, reverse, third and two and three. Yeah. All primitive. That's the, but, only, the only thing you need on this combo. You need to be able to get reverse quick. Yeah. Because if you block up, you need to go back. Go upwards. Yeah. That's smartish because the, the multi flow will gobble up the straw you've just cut. Mm. And oh, you've only ever blocked it up once on the multi flow. I can tell you what, that was two and a half hours. Well, yeah, I, haven't, you, I haven't even touched these panels yet. I so haven't you, have, you haven't touched these? I've, I've done, done that, that one. one. Yeah. You can see the difference. Like. That's all it needs. Yeah, Just a, a few bit, hours with a, a bit of, bit of with a magic formula, and the paper will come, come back, back nice. It doesn't yeah. make the combine go any different. No, but, but it, it just makes it look a bit, bit better. Yeah, yeah, yeah. It does. Well, and I, I love these old things. You know, I mean, it, it, it's worthy of being. You know, whether you like them or not, it's worthy of saving it. Yeah. Well, it's all history, isn't it? It's all it you know, days gone by, and yeah, yeah, they don't build them like they used to. No, they don't. <laughs> it's too complicated now. Too complicated. Yeah, yeah, it is. Yeah, these were pretty uh, run of the mill, really. 
Yeah. Um, well, thanks for your time, Colin. It's nice to come and nice to come and see these things, and let's uh, let's hope that you can get your water pump and um, well, I'll we'll, we'll get it going. I'll have to drag another one in. Oh, at least you've got spares. <laughs> <laughs> yeah. Only trouble is, I'd have to go through one of them as well. But at least I know they work. Yeah. This one I don't know yet. Um, Time will tell. Get the water pump and fingers crossed. Yeah. Stay tuned. Very good. Stay tuned. <laughs> Part two coming. Well, I hope that was of interest to you. We were there quite a while. Could have videoed a lot more, but would have gone on for probably another hour. But we'll have a trip there another day. Hopefully, when he's got his water pump sorted and it's up and running. Um, so yeah, I'm going to chop my firewood up now. So thank you all for watching, and we'll catch you in a few days' time. Take steady.